Peace of the Saints. So we are here at Camps Bay, which is a gorgeous beach. I've already checked out, what, what beach did I check out already? Sea Point. I checked out Sea Point, which they said Sea Point and Camps Bay are the two best neighborhoods. I've moved a lot through Sea Point. I'm already gonna go ahead and say Camps Bay is better. I haven't even really been anywhere except a restaurant, but the beach has sand. Whereas in Sea Point, it's not sandy, it's more rocky. So they got the sand, and you know where you got the sand and the sun. You, the floozies are gonna be nearby, you dig? Uh, so that's a beautiful thing. Right. 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 But it's usually not clean when I come here. It's not clean or clean? Mm -hmm. clean. clean. Yeah, so obviously. You not it? Yeah. Oh, the I think I think the water by Fourth Clifton is is better. Yeah, Clifton Fourth. Yeah. Actually, okay. Clifton First. It's not full. <laughs> the first colored girl. She told me when I was telling her like oh, I might live here, here, or here. She's like, okay, but don't go to Clifton because there's a lot of colors there creating trouble. Now you're Indian. <laughs> Saints, we're, we're doing some training. You said I could get those houses? How much money do you guys need to make me for me to get that house? Yeah, in Rand. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, in USD. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Not much. This is gorgeous. Wow. I just love this. This how this mountain is here like that. Uh, yeah, Candle. Basic training is in a couple weeks. Yeah. Um, if you scroll through the community tab, it'll show you when basic training is. I highly recommend you hurry up and get your ticket because uh, we're pretty much about to be live and cracking. So, yeah, you got to get on that, brethren. We haven't really talked much about basic training because I really only want the real ones there. So we haven't advertised it at all. So it's been fairly low key. So right now we're just kind of sneaking over because I like to see the whole beach. We're going to the beginning of the beach. Funny story, we're having lunch and they're telling me about these fake ballers in Cape Town. And I find this stuff to be very entertaining, imaginary players. So there's one. Um, so basically what happens is a cat will go to the club in Cape Town, right? And he'll buy a bottle, get the bottle service on credit. I know it sounds crazy. Yes, on credit, they get the bottle service. And then if you don't pay for the bottles, the club will go on IG and post a photo of you like, hey, this guy owes us money with the amount wow and your face so they got your mug shot up they got the amount of money you owe them it's just crazy who would have knew i'd be walking through the desert in prada shoes shame this is a shame this is a shame right now saints they say the devil wears prada also the saint wears prada I'm gonna have to donate these after this. This is inappropriate. I'm appalled. 
Shout out to Shorty. Shout out to KK. She had an extra pair of sandals just for like no reason. That's amazing levels of preparation. Oh, this is all the way worth it. Let's see. Let me flip this around. We can swim back. <laughs> yeah, we can swim back. How's your swimming game? Strong? Oh, really? Okay. You grew up in Cape Town. Okay, so you're a beach city kid. Oh, so is this like the side of the beach for like the people who are like more low key? Yeah. Some nice, nice homes there. That would really be perfect to have a spot there. I wonder how long they leave that graffiti up. Because if they just leave it up, like, I almost feel like I need to hire someone to put my logo there. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Three badges. Marco three badges. Mm -hmm. Shout, out Marco. Shout out to Marco. Okay, and he's like, peace to the saints. I'm going to have to add South Africa on my travel list. Nice. Oh, bruh, for real. You really should. Um, these ladies have just said that the South African women are are conservative. <laughs> I can't sign off on that. But what I for sure can sign off on is that they're good looking women in all flavors and all shapes. So whatever you like, it's here. <laughs> um, and that that's nice. That's nice. Pretty much you can get anything you like. Speaking of colors, when I was out at DNA Water guys in the van they're just sitting in the van it looks really weird and one of them smiled at me and he didn't have any front teeth <laughs> and, I, and i turned to the young lady i was with i was like yo where's that man's teeth at and she was like oh he's just he's like, in college culture you know we, we take out the front teeth it's a bug that some of us have can i tell you what that's called cool? i thought it i thought so this is not a lie oh Said every second colored male has no front teeth. Oh, the sightseeing bus. Yeah. Ah, really? That should take you to the colored guy that lets the seal eat out of his mouth. Oh, we should do that. Yeah, we gotta do that. Um, why are they taking their front teeth out? We can't pause one. What? No, but what for? So you just take out your healthy teeth it's for false teeth. Damn, that's it's basically a Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's 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 a psychologist. It, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> she, she says it's a stereotype she made. <laughs> trying to stop people from taking their teeth out. No, they're trying to break the stereotype that all colored people have their teeth taken. Not all. She said just every second one. So like half. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I see more people, more colored people with teeth than those without teeth. Yeah. But I think it's also... So what does the, that say? <laughs> what does that say? It's the area you're designing to We have people in America who don't have teeth. We call them hillbillies. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we call them hillbillies. Yeah, they also have sex with their cousins. What? Home, Alabama. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. <laughs> Sisters, cousins, all that. It's not cool. 
You know, it's crazy. I actually have haters who follow me on Instagram. Isn't that weird? How crazy is that? Isn't that insane? Do you have any haters? I don't know. That's babe. good. That's good. I actually do. Oh, you I actually do? My year off. No, I actually started my year off last year with a few haters. Oh. But you just killed him with kindness. <laughs> or bullets. <laughs> Guns are legal here, right? No. Well, I bet in you the have to get a permit. <laughs> oh, yeah, you need a permit, actually. Yeah. But yeah, you have a, you get a permit for a each one. license, yeah? Yeah. How many do you want to have? Jeez, each one. <laughs> probably just... Can we use a pedestrian? Um, no. Can uh, probably just one. One good one. Uh, shout out to Dante. He said, what is this place called? This is called Camps Bay. You are royal queen. Are you a queen, Loyal queen, wow. <laughs> hey, one of these nuts in the chat. This is crazy. They just called her a loyal queen, and she's like, "Not me." Wait, why is she? A, why is she a loyal queen? She's not. She just said she's not a loyal queen. Have, uh, have you cheated before in your life? <laughs> I think suddenly. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I don't have any South African friends. Fans. These are all Americans. <laughs> there's this, uh, there's this fake celebrity in America that uh, I have a little beef with, right? And he looks like one of your gay. You guys have a gay DJ here that he looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hilarious. I got to show you guys. He looks like a South African DJ. It's hilarious. I actually did a video on it. So remind me when I get off this live to show you the video. One of his fans were in my chat. They're like, that guy saved my life. <laughs> you saw that? He's like, what did this guy do for you? <laughs> this guy's a psychopath. Oh, we need some gelato too, low key. If you see some gelato, we need gelato. Not even for the taste, just to cool down, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fancy. Oh, it's a little vibe. This woman knows her way around. She, she knows her way around. You could tell this guy does not follow my work. He says, you've never met me. He doesn't realize I've hosted four conferences, you dig? And I'm always out on the scene like a sex machine. Ask about me. <laughs> I'm everywhere like air. He writes, are those shades MDB label? Nah, these are not MDB label, but we do need some real player shades sometime soon so i'm gonna definitely keep that in mind nice uh population here it's yeah. a good number of people the vibes is giving <laughs> the vibe it says when am i coming out to dc actually i usually go to dc once a year for a gala but I'm not gonna go this year because I'll probably be out of the country, so I won't be there for a while. Saying stay away from intoxicants, stay away from alcohol, and stay away from sugar. But it just so happens it's so hot, your boy needs some gelato. Welcome designer, it's it's a gorgeous place, I must say. I can't say that for the whole city, but definitely Camps Bay is remarkable. CBD is basically just like a business area. Saints, um, we're eating ice cream. I think actually I can manage this. Thank you. Should we grab a seat? Is that pool for colors only? I don't think they actually have anything like that in terms okay. of rules, but I think people feel that way. I was walking uh, with a black girl and we had went to this, by this bar and we we're gonna, I wanted to go in, but it was all white people there. She was like, nah, let's not go in there. So, <laughs> what? White people. She was like, let's not go in there. <laughs> I, I know people that's like that. It's very funny. <laughs> It's not really a rule, it's like, will people treat her bad or she just doesn't feel comfortable? Yeah. She doesn't feel comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, some people just don't like cases. Yeah, fair enough. Um, what else? 
Your What's that? That's how I'm trying to look with your body. Are the ladies there different, more common, accommodating than Western women? Um, I don't think so. In fact, I think they're more liberal than Western women in Cape Town. It's kind of crazy. They're very liberal. You guys are very liberal, right? Dang, they all shake their head. Yes, dang. Oh, my goodness. All right, all right. Proud. You, could you study in gender studies? Gender studies right there. And psychology. And psychology. Boom. It does not get more liberal than gender studies. <laughs> Peace of the Saints. I don't know if it's just South Africans you're around, but the women are terrible bad. Huh? Bad means good. You know how black people talk? Bad means good. No, I, I didn't hear oh. anything that says Oh. What advice can I give to my younger not to simp for girls who aren't interested in <laughs> Is this a word here? Simp? You guys know this word? You guys got a lot of simps out here. It's crazy. They told me most of the men here are the simps. They need what we call the ism. The ism. The ism is Marquettism. <laughs> That's what they need. Mm -hmm. Is that a hair hat I saw this guy? I must have. I must say I'm surprised at the amount of white people around. I think uh, Americans think that Africa is all tribes, just all tr endless amounts of tribes. So one day we were walking in town by the gardens, we were walking by the gardens, and there's this tourist, right? How come you look so good on the camera? Is there a filter on right now? <laughs> I think the lighting is giving. Uh, that's why I told you lighting is important. That's yeah. crazy. Anyway, so they, I just want you guys to know she's catfishing you right now. As we speak, you're being catfished. <laughs> like, oh I'm a beautiful girl. I'm gorgeous. He's jealous because he doesn't look like this one. As you should, queen. <laughs> yes, queen. <laughs> Wait, but as I was saying, Go ahead. so we're walking in like the gardens and there's these tours, and all of them seem shocked. Like they're just standing there and we're wondering why they're in shock. So we're standing there and waiting for them to say something. And they go, where are the lions? And, oh my God. And we realize they just expect lions and people to be dressing. And they're dressed in leopard print. Because they, 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 they hold us Because <laughs> they thought that we just in like cave nation. What? Leopard print and lions are okay. That's not cool. cool. That's not cool. I want yeah. you guys to go to America just so you can be like, I'm African and just see how they're gonna look at you hella confused they did that ask what race you are and then they were like no you're, you're not mixed you are latino and i was like what? Oh. <laughs> and I was like what shout out to wake up designer for the badges he writes she got some flavor what'd you get what is that this is a, a lemon ice crush a lemon ice crush is there like real lemonade in there like, yes. I know, I like, that's what I'm gonna get next time. What'd you get? Oh, this is the peach one. Oh, it's peach. Okay, maybe I should do that one instead. That's the one. What'd you get? You nasty and <laughs> salted? Oh, I can't mess with it. I cannot mess it's with so it. It's so nice because it's like a crunch in the ice, in the ice cream. I love nuts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Would okay. you say love? <laughs> <laughs> Would you say love? I love nuts that you can eat, but like almonds, not, not sweet <laughs> nuts. I love the way she said it too with that accent. I love nuts. <laughs> so, not See, sweet okay. nuts, but edible nuts. Like, Dry ones. Yeah. Dry ones. Almonds. Got you. Okay. So you actually went for the ice cream like me. I would have went for this. I just didn't know that existed. But it's right there. <laughs> it's right next to my ice cream. I'll tell you guys something about me. Mm -hmm. You know why I didn't read that board? Because mm -hmm. I have no. Because I have six eyeballs to read that board for uh, me. Yeah, exactly. I mean, exactly. I got six uh, eyeballs to read that board. Yeah, yeah. Can I blame you guys for that one? <laughs> 
No, you you're gonna figure out. You have to. You're here to manage me. That'd be dope. That'd be a good little uh, troll video. Go back with my receipt. I want to return this. Would you ever move out of the states for good? I mean, you always have to have a base in the United States. The economy is really strong. The dollar is a good currency. So you have to have a base there. I wouldn't ever give up my citizenship. Could you ask them if there's a big difference between African men versus African American men? Look, I'm going to tell you right now, we got all the sauce. You heard me? They don't have any sauce out here. And furthermore, all their sauce is counterfeit. All they trying to do is be the big homie. You heard me? Like, they just counterfeit in our sauce. They ain't got no sauce. Let's be real out here. Go ahead. Information. That's all. Definitely not. Uh, but you need to subscribe to that. <laughs> there you go. She said, we should do a, a members only. Yeah. That, I like how you're thinking. I like how you're thinking. I like how you're thinking right there. This woman is brilliant. This woman is brilliant. Did you know that she was that brilliant? <laughs> now you know, though. Now you know. Mm hmm. I want you guys to know this video is catfishing right now because I don't even look this good in real life. Exactly. I don't even look oh, that, I good. Look that I'm good. I'm looking at me right now like, damn. Like, damn. This, this is the catfish lens right here. I don't know what kind of filter they didn't put on my joint. What did you do to my camera? No, it's not. He writes, the origin of the African-American male sauce might need a live of its own. Oh, I agree. I wholly agree. Do you guys really know what an African-American is, though? You. Me. Well, they ain't all this good, but... Like the East Treby Islands. What's that? Like the East Treby Islands. East Treby Islands? Yeah, like the East Treby Islands. how you guys Wait, what did she say? Like the history around African-American. Oh, the history. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, because I feel like when I'm in Europe, for example, people will meet me and they'll be like, hey, where are you from? And I'll be like, Los Angeles. And they'll say, yeah, but where are your parents from? I'll be like, San Diego. And they'll be like, yeah, but where are your parents' parents from? And I'll be like, San Diego. And they'll be like, but where are your parents' parents' parents from? I'll be like, Arkansas. And they'll be like, where are your parents' 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 parents but from? But where are they from? Arkansas. Are they from here? No, they're from like, America for like 400 years. What? Yeah, that's what people... Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Good Lord. Okay, that's new. Look, that's why my whole point is when we say we're African-American, it's like clearly we're black. I, I mean, a, a version of black at least, but we're not recently enough from Africa to where you know where from, right? Yeah. And so when you've been somewhere for 400 years, would it make sense if I'm like, I'm from... Ghana, yeah. right? It's like, yeah. it'd be kind of ridiculous, right? Yeah. So I guess the answer to my question is no, you don't know what an African-American is. Wow. Because we were in America when America started. It's giving Kevin off. What's that? It's giving Kevin off. Yeah, taller though, taller. Yeah. Taller. Oh God, taller. Taller. Wow. Let me see if Catfish Camera is working on everybody real quick. Yeah, it, man, catfish camera is working right now. That's crazy. This is magic. Look, you guys are saying South Africans are bad. Maybe they're not this bad. I think it's this camera. I don't know what. I don't know what. <laughs> I swear, guys. It's, 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 it's a good phone. That's why it's majority of the people that has a TikTok account or Instagram account, they invest in their English because it just gives... They scam it too hard. They scam it too hard. I am not kidding. Were you reading this one? Yeah. All right, read that one to her. I'm surprised by how ambitious a lot of these women look. Ambiguous. Ambiguous. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> Uh, can someone send a badge oh. so we can get her some glasses? I have glasses, some glasses. In my bag. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. What is what ambiguous? Do you mean ambiguous. I know what that means, but what do you? Like we can't tell what race you are. I think is what they mean. Oh. Not only having one meaning. I'll tell you why. Because you don't even know the color choice. I'm gonna tell you why they're ambiguous. I know. I understand this stuff now. 
these, my friends. Example A. I am a cut. These are. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I am a cut. My mom's cut and my dad's cut. Example B. I'm an Indian. <laughs> Mom's a Thank you. Thank you. There you go. And and your songa. Yeah. Songa. Did I say that right though? Songa. Oh damn. Songa. She's. How? It's T S O N G O. You you say it. Songa. No, that ain't it. That was not it. Songa. Why are you lying? That was not it. Yeah. Keep it real with your boy. That's so true. Say it real quick. Tonga. Tell me if I say it better than her, real quick. Tell me if I say it better than her. <laughs> say it one more time. Tonga. Tonga. Yeah. Now you say it. Tonga. Okay. Who said it better? You did. Thank you. Thank you. That's that African blood. That's that pure African blood running through my veins. She, she not real South African. Mm mm. Saints, I'm South African. They didn't even know it. The the what? Plastic and paper, but everything goes into the same. Oh, that's a scam. Look at this. It says plastic and paper, but it all goes the same place. Shout out to the scams. They better look through it and recycle it, though. KK, did you know that I was more African, South African than you, though? No. You didn't know. Now you know. Don't doubt my. Don't know. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> Don't doubt my South Africanness, please, please. So, so baby right here is Tonga, and um, her her tribe needs a king. I'm trying to figure out how I could finesse. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I could finesse your me and boss up real quick. Mm hmm. I'm willing to fill it. Absolutely. I really wanted to be a Zulu, but I don't want to disrespect your tribe since I know you. You feel me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very awesome. You know, connection. Yeah. Hook me up.